Hi, this is Presh Talwalkar. The mathematician John Conway devised a clever method to calculate the day of the week from a date known as the Doomsday Rule. In this video, I'll teach you how to apply the method for dates in 2016, and then I'll extend the method for any date up to 2099. To get started, 2016 is a leap year. In any leap year, the following dates always fall on the same day of the week. While this list may look intimidating, it's only 12 dates to remember, and there are patterns within the dates which will make them easy to remember. For example, look at the dates 4 4, 6 6, 8 8, 10 10, and 12 12. In even months that are 4 or higher, the value to remember are the double days where the day value equals the month value. For the last line of dates, you can think about the phrase, I work from 9 to 5 at 7 -11. This will give you the dates 9 5, 7 11, and you can swap the numbers to get 5 9 and 11 7. The date in March I think about as Pi Day because the constant Pi is approximately 3.14. 229 is the last day of February, and you can think about 1 4 because a leap year happens every four years. Now in 2016, January 4th falls on a Monday, which means all of these dates fall on a Monday. This will give you an anchor point within each of the 12 months, which will allow you to compute any other date within the year. For example, what day of the week will Christmas 1225 fall on? We look for our closest reference point, which will be 1212, and we know this falls on a Monday. That means one week later will be a Monday, and two weeks later will also be a Monday. So one day before that will be a Sunday, so 1225 must fall on a Sunday. You can speed up the mental calculation by subtracting the two values of the date. When you have 1225, you think about the closest date as being 1212. Now we can compute the number of days between 1212 and 1225 by subtracting the day values of 25 minus 12 equals 13. We then know that every seven days will be the same day of the week, so we reduce modulo seven to get an offset of negative one. So we need one day before, which is a Sunday. So that means this is another way we figure out Christmas is on a Sunday. Let's do another example. When, which day of the week will July 4th be on? Our closest reference point will be 7-11, which is a Monday. Now July 4th is one week before that, so our offset will be zero, and that means July 4th will also be on a Monday. Now if you want to extend this method for any other year, there's one slight modification you want to make. The dates 2-29 and 1-4 apply only for leap years. So when you want to calculate using this method in other years, a common year, which is not a leap year, it's going to be one day before the days we've given in February and January. So the last day in February in a leap year is 229, but in a common year, it's 228. And for January 4th, we remember that for leap years happening every four years, in a common year, which is the other three years, it happens on one three. So you can apply the doomsday method by remembering these dates for common years and leap years they will always fall on the same day of the week. Now in order to apply this method, you need to know when January 3rd or January 4th falls on. So there's a formula for that. What I like to do is I like to think about the day of the week that New Year's falls on, and then I make the adjustment for January 3rd or January 4th. So to get this calculation started, we start out by putting the days of the week in numerical codes starting with Sunday being zero and Saturday being six. You can remember these using mnemonics. Zero being Sunday, you can think about as nuns day. One is Monday or Wednesday. Two is Tuesday or two a day. Three is Wednesday or trebles day, threes a day. Four is Thursday or fours day. Five is Friday, five day. And six is Saturday or six a day. Now here's the formula for calculating the day code for a year. If you have a year 2000YY, the day code will equal negative one plus the year 
plus the year divided by four rounded up and you take that whole result and make it modulo seven. So let's try and figure out when will January 1st, 2055, which day of the week that'll land on. Our year is 55. So we calculate the day code by substituting in 55. So we get negative one plus 55 plus 55 over four and we wanna round that up, modulo seven. 55 over four is 13.75, which we round up to be 14. We then end up with 68 mod seven. The closest multiple of seven will be 63. So 68 is five more than 63. So we figured out the day code is five, which means January 1, 2055 will land on five day, which is Friday. So now we can figure out any date in 2055. Like when is December 25th, 2055? We know that January 1st is on a Friday. So we calculate two days later, January 3rd will be a Sunday. Now we know all of the dates we've memorized will land on a Sunday. So that means 1212 will land on a Sunday. And two weeks later, 1226 will also be a Sunday. Therefore, 1225 will land on a Saturday. So the doomsday method is a very cool way that you can mentally calculate any date. And you'll be very surprised how often this comes in handy and other people will be surprised how quickly you'll be able to know the day of the week just from the date. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Presh Talwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.